What's good, everybody? Welcome back to L Does Boxing. Now I want to talk about this unification fight between Katie Taylor versus Rose Valente. It's going down March the 15th from Philly. It's on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Um, it's for the IBF, WBA, and WBO lightweight titles. This is a very, very big fight in uh, women's boxing. Um, these ladies put on the line, put their belts on the line. Two undefeated fighters. Um, you have a, a Olympic standout in Katie Taylor, and you have kind of a, a novice, uh, not a lot of experience, um, Rose Valente, but she's a tough fighter. So we're gonna talk about this in this video. We're gonna break it down, and uh, you know, what I'm saying hopefully everybody gets excited for it because this is a big fight. So first, you have Katie Taylor. Um, form, she's a, a Olympic gold medalist. Um, had an outstanding um, amateur career. Um, she's probably one of the reasons why uh, the Olympic the women was able to fight in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? So she was doing her thing. She's 12 and 0 with five KOs. She's the unified champion right now. She has the IBF and the WBA. I mean, she's been looking spectacular lately. She's probably one of the the best skilled fighters in boxing, and that's men included. I mean, she's I mean she's outstanding with her combinations, her body her body punches, um, her footwork is probably like her biggest her biggest asset. Um, she's not a big puncher, but she put her punches together. You know what I'm saying? She's from Ireland. She's one of the biggest stars in Ireland, along with Conor McGregor. I mean, soft spoken young lady. She can fight and she brings it. You know what I'm saying? Um, she had a good 2018. She went 4-0. With one KO. She unified last year. Um, she unified the IBF and WBA last year. So, I mean, she's been making some moves. Um, you know, she's pro promoted by Eddie Hearn. So, he's he got her on the fast track. And uh, he's doing wonders for her career and for women's boxing. So, shout out to him for, you know what I'm saying, pushing her. Um, her last fight, she fought um, WBC 130-pound champion Eva Wastrom. That was on the Canelo, Rocky Field, and undercard. I mean, she just outclass her. And she's a champion. So that just shows the level, the level that she's at right now with these other fighters. And um, it was pretty easy, pretty one-sided. She also fought uh, Cindy Serrano last year in uh, October, which, you know, Cindy didn't really come to fight that night. But that was the easy win for Kay Taylor. You know what I'm saying? She fought on the zone her last two fights. Um, I mean, if y'all haven't seen her fight, man, y'all need to watch Katie Taylor. She's probably the, the most highly skilled bo skilled boxers in the world today. You know what I'm saying? She she can she can fight, man. And every time I watch her, I get more impressed because she do subtle stuff in the ring that a lot of um, fighters don't do no more. So she's kind of like a throwback too. Then you have the WBO champion Rose Vellante. She's from Brazil. She's 14 and 0 with eight KOs. Um, she went 2 and 0 last year, and she had two KOs. So she's a bigger puncher. Um, you know what I'm saying? She's a kind of an awkward type of fighter. She's very aggressive though, and she likes to throw her hands. Um, she kind of started late. You know what I'm saying? In the sport, um, she's 36 years old. Um, she she started boxing. Well, she turned pro in 2014, so not a lot of experience. She's not as experienced as Kay Taylor, and she's definitely not skilled as Kay Taylor. Um, she likes to come forward. She uh, she likes to use a jab. Um, she throws some hard shots. Not the most technically sound fighter, like I said, but she's definitely tough, and she's definitely going to bring it. You know what I'm saying? Um it took a while to make this fight. Uh, Kay Taylor wanted to make this fight a little bit earlier, but it was some negotiations and back and forth, but uh, it finally got made. Uh, but Rose, she's a pretty good fighter, though. She's very tough, man. And I'll, she's not going to come all the way to, um, to Philly and lay down. Um, this is her first fight in the United States. All her fights um, been in Brazil. Um, not really much on her resume that you guys would notice. Um not really tough competitions, but, you know, she's going to come to fight. So, regardless, um, she's a champion, and uh, this is a big fight. 
So I love this fight, man. I think it's a, a good style matchup. You got three titles on the line. Um, this is great for women's boxing. This this is great for boxing, period. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out of that to say boxing instead of women's boxing. But these ladies come to fight. Um, you got Kay Taylor, the most technically sound fighter probably in boxing. Like that's like that's like for real. Y'all gotta watch her fight. She's a very talented fighter. Rose Valente, a, t- a tough, a tough fighter, kind of rugged, and um, she she threw a lot of power punches. So, you know, K Taylor gonna definitely have to be on guard, and so will Rose Valente. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one.